Hi, my name's Andrew Bealey. I'm the Operations Manager at Bullaburra here at Loxton, South Australia in the Northern Mallee. Today I'll explain the challenges that we have with spray application in broadacre systems and the additional challenges that we have with residential properties and horticulture bordering our properties. The public is coming closer and closer to our farming uh, boundaries uh, to the stage where we've got houses only metres away from uh, where, we're, where we're growing crops and where we're trying to apply chemicals. So we're coming up to one of our paddocks, close proximity to apricot plantings on our right hand side. So one of our tactics to assist with spray drift management is we've planted salt bush buffer zones between the apricot plantings and our wheat plantings. Almonds are one of the many horticultural plantings surrounding our properties. A major consideration for our spray drift management program is wind direction. And we're forever recording our activities, both spray applications, amounts, rates, but more so the weather data. We will record uh, some instances hourly and uh, definitely before and after each tank full. So even though the spray program at Bullaburra is quite large and almost ongoing, there's times when the sprayers are parked. Now those times are normally two hours either side of sun up and sun down, where we are most susceptible to the inversion layers. We are monitoring wind speeds and wind directions, uh, and wind direction is the king when it comes to it all. If we enter a paddock and start spraying it, we may not finish it that day. We may have to come back, we may have to stop, we may have to move to a different paddock at a different location where the wind direction is suitable for that paddock and, uh, and keep spraying that way. It can potentially be a week before we uh, will complete a, a two to 300 hectare paddock. Um, so that too in, on its own can be challenging, uh, particularly with um, chemicals in the tank, half-life, and all the rest of it. So quite often we may not always mix a full tank either. We may just mix half tanks and chip away at it. An hour here and there um, is, is what is required to, to um, apply that chemical. And citrus is another fruit tree planting that is right on top of our boundaries. Other management aspects that we utilise uh, of, of late in the targeting the zero you know, off-target chemical issues is uh, and zero drift is uh, the new technology that's available to us today that hasn't been in the past. John Deere, for instance, we've picked up their exact apply system where we can maintain exact droplet size with variable litres per hectare uh, application. We have considerably reduced our ground speeds and with that ground speed reduction uh, reduced our fines but also our boom height control. The booms will maintain their height at ground speeds lower than 25 k's an hour. That alone has made a big difference in uh, spray drift. In the summer months uh, weed uh, spraying is quite active in the Mallee, uh, particularly if we have a wetter summer. And one of the um, tools in our kit is a, a uh, optical sprayer. Uh, we have a lot of ground to cover and efficiencies are quite high up on our list. So the optical sprayer will allow us to cover a lot of area with a very little chemical use. For instance, one wet summer, we went through 40 shuttles of chemical to be applied for weed control. And another summer where that was drier using technology and optical sensing, we reduced that down to one to two shuttles. So that's a quick overview of the challenges Bullaburra have in managing spray drift. Make sure you have the correct nozzle selection, droplet size, pressures, chemical application 
adhere to the code of practice and by all means make sure your weather records are correct and quite consistent. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.